Hello, everybody. I am Dr. Stefan Stangaciu. I'm uh, giving this lecture from Romania in Romania for all of you. Uh, I am very happy to be a member, a speaker uh, in the first Australian Apitherapy Conference. It is a historic event, and I'm sure we will learn a lot of new things and we'll be able to better protect our dear friends and family members after this conference. Let me share my screen. My presentation is on medicinal beekeeping. Uh, the idea is that we need a special kind of medicinal beekeeping because uh, we need very, very good uh, quality bee products for health. Uh, in this situation, we use the bee products not so much as a food, but as medicinal remedies against many diseases. So let me share my screen, review, and let's move from there. Okay. So, um, yes, a few words and images about myself, my location, like all of you, we are on this Milky Way, on this nice blue planet, and so much emptiness around us. And uh, we live on Terra. And by the way, keep in mind this connection, API Terra. Is this, it is the website of the International Federation of API Therapy. And by the way, Australian API Therapy Society, it's also a member in our federation. So I'm located in Europe, in Romania, uh, near Bucharest, in, in a small village called Mereni. And we have also a clinic around us. And this is our house and center and bee house here, connected to the human house. And this is the part for the bees. And we have a lot of biodiversity, a lot of medicinal bee plants around. We are very fortunate about this. We have many, many books which we collected from all over the world uh, on apitherapy, on bee products, on phytotherapy, aromatherapy, and so on. And we have here our locations. Uh, here are, uh, it's a photo with medical doctors uh, from uh, Romania, which are studying apitherapy, phytotherapy, aromatherapy. And we gave a lot of lectures all over the world on apitherapy. This is one in France. This lady is Claudette renal Cartabas. Uh, we wrote together with her a very good book on apitherapy. And here are some of my books. This one's in Germany and this one it's in France and we'll have it also in English. This book, it's a big one, 370 pages. And uh, we hope to be able to share with you this book uh, next year. Uh, in Romania, we have uh, had the uh, huge luck to have Professor Harnash as our uh, supporter of apitherapy in Romania. Here is the Apitherapy Center in Bucharest. It is still working. It was opened in 1974 for apitherapy, and it has several sections, uh, uh, dentistry, pharmacology, and so on and so on. Here was our pioneer of uh, apitherapy treatment of many diseases, including cardiovascular diseases. He was very famous for being able to prevent such disease or to block the evolution of such disease like arteritis. So epitherapy is the use of bee products to prevent, heal, or recover from many, many diseases. Okay. The bee, we can see it as a flying pharmacy. It has all kinds of wonderful substances on her body or inside her body, or she's making these substances and these products. And uh, it's not only a flying pharmacy, but it's, we can say that it's a flying hospital. How many raw bee products can we uh, get as beekeeper for apitherapy? Uh, we can get at least 10 of them. Honey from flowers. Then get honey to honey from trees, uh, big trees, which uh, give uh, their sap in certain conditions. Uh, honey to honey is richer in minerals and it's better for immune system than floral honey. Then we have propolis. We have uh, 
European kind of propolis or New Zealand kind of propolis based on poplars. And then you have also uh, Brazilian green propolis or red uh, propolis also from Brazil or for, from many tropical countries. Okay, beeswax, which is also very useful in apitherapy. Beehive air, it's a very, very big topic. And uh, I believe you already listened to the presentation of Beck McKenzie. Uh, she's the, the daughter of a very famous beekeeper in Germany who has created and improved uh, the old system with the collection of beehive air. And now uh, uh, beehive air therapy in Germany, it's a big, big topic. Okay. It was started in, in Austria by a family, family Hüttner. And then now it's all over the world. Here, here is uh, Mr. Jürgen Schmidtgen, which is uh, promoting a very modern method of beehive air therapy with a very modern uh, device, which is already approved, certified uh, by the German Health Department. Okay, so you see here. So this lady is from Australia, by the way. She came to our center. Royal Gel is another famous bee product, very, very useful in apitherapy. Then you have apilarnil, drone larvae, triturate, bee pollen, different colors, different activities, bee bread, then uh, bee bread for some of you, you don't know what is bee bread, bee bread is bee pollen plus bee saliva, which has nectar and lactobacillus species plus honey. It's a transform pollen a bit. Bee venom for acupuncture points, including is in, in very, very important. So what is medicinal beekeeping? Medicinal beekeeping is a form of practice that ensures very clean bee products. And not only very clean bee products, but also very rich in specific healing substances. We launched this idea before August 2010 in Malaysia. Uh, you can see here some guidelines. You see here, I'll show it to you. What is new in medicinal beekeeping when we compare it with classical beekeeping? It's better quality and more important than better quality, more biopharm biopharmacological active components. So how to achieve a better quality? Locate your apiary in a clean ecological area, at least 30 kilometers away from any polluting source. So no pollution in your apiary area. So um, an environment like this one would be fantastic. Uh, how to achieve better quality of bee products? Also with materials which you use in your apiary, very, very clean, as sterile as possible. So no such beehives no such beehives, but like this one, very, very clean. The beekeeper must be also very clean itself. And you'll see in one of the slides, the beekeeper should be in his apiary, like a surgeon in his surger, surger, surgery room, operation room. Okay, so no antibiotics or no one wanting substances, Barra says, etc., should be given or fed to the bees. Okay, so very low biological load. So um, no bacteria, no mycotic parasites and so on. No contamination ideally into the product. As less as possible. Then uh, uh, we need to take into account that there are many other factors which are uh, damaging the quality of the bee products. And these are water, light radiation heat, air, which contains oxygen, human body also, hands, nails, and hairs, which can have some microbes, and dirty or not sufficiently clean sterile recipients. So this is like a synthesis. So no heat should come to the beehive or to the bee products inside, no light, no bacteria, no oxygen, because the oxygen oxidizes, no water, because the water allows the multiplication of the germs, and also no wind, no air currents. If it's too much, this will spoil the essential oils from the beehive, and this is not good for the bees. So, as I said, the beekeeper needs to be in his apiary like a surgeon in an operation room. Yes, it is not so easy, but you'll get top, top quality, which you can sell on higher prices, and the, the people needing the products will get faster results in the healing process. 
So such jars with brown color, it's okay. This one, not so okay. So protection against the light. So how to achieve this kind of B product with so many different substances? Uh, first, we need to find the B plants, which are the best for you. So you need to search in your area and to ask a botanist and then a pharmacologist, okay, this kind of trees and plants, why they are good for uh, against what disease. And then you locate your apiary in as close as possible to this kind of trees, because apitherapy is about 60% phytotherapy and phytotherapy means herbal medicine. Okay, so we can use this to treat a lot of diseases. Okay, now more active components you can get also if you have small frames, uh, not big frames, and also you can activate the pollen trap only during special hours. Like here, these small uh, frames are better than big frames because in such a frame, the chance to get a mono uh, botanical honey, a, a monofloral honey is higher. And in apitherapy, monofloral honey is better than multifloral honey. Okay, so no such a thing. So if you do uh, uncapping of honey, uh, you spoil the honey partially, oxygen can come inside, spores, bacteria can come inside and also the essential oils, aromatherapy is going out. So avoid such a thing and avoid uh, centrifugation. This kind of method like uh, honey to grow into the jar is better, okay? And uh, the best is to get the honey directly from the honeycomb with a sterile tool. You open cell by cell and then you absorb the honey into the syringe. And you go from a pretty sterile environment to a sterile environment. So the chance to have here problems is very, very low. And then you can use it for applications like for the eyes or intravenous after microfiltration. Okay, so honey into the syringe is a good idea like here or gel into the syringe. Now, uh, to get more components, special, special components, you need the pollen separator. You can separate the pollen according to the color, like running sushi principle. You, you put, uh, you have a, a band which is uh, giving the pollen and then you can separate by hand mechanically. You need also to check by microscopy. Okay, and then you can do all, all kinds of uh, uh, things with your products. Now, what kind of big hives, small hives, protected uh, for the, against the bad climate, like here in Saudi Arabia, and uh, adapt to the local conditions. Okay, and the conclusion of my presentation is that we can use all the big products to, to get health, but all these big products should be very, very good quality. Okay, and we need very high amount of special active pharmacological substances like polyphenols and so on and so on. Here are a few examples of the apitherapy. Okay. And conclusion, we need in apitherapy very clean B product and very rich in useful components. Best medicinal beekeeping is in a clean ecological area. And the best beekeepers are the ones who are health oriented. Bibliography, you see here huge amounts of data. And if you want to get more information, you can contact me at this email. Thank you very much.